Today we are going to take a look at how we can use group carousal module in DB5 to create some amazing looking custom testimonial carousals like this one. So if that sounds interesting then let's dive in. My name is Ankit and you're watching Elegant Themes YouTube channel, the makers of the DB Visual Builder. Now before we proceed and show you everything step by step, I would like to mention that we have created a complete blog post where we have covered everything step by step to create this testimonial carousal. So if you want to deep dive and learn everything step by step, make sure you check out the blog post that you will link in the video description below. Along with that, you will also find a sample carousal template that you can download and import in your Divi Visual Builder library. With that said, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and let's build our custom testimonial carousal. Alright, so here we are inside our DB5 Visual Builder and here we have a sample hero section and here we are going to add our carousal for testimonials. So let's click on this. We have added a simple row and we are going to use group carousal module. Here it is. And as soon as we add this, we can now go ahead and check on our layers view that we have a column. Below this we have group carousal module. So let's go ahead and rename this first. Alright, now under this we have a group module. Now because this is a group module, it means that we can go ahead and add any DB module inside it to create our first slide of our carousal. So let's go ahead and keep it a little simple and let's start by adding a heading first. Then we are going to add a text module like this. And then maybe we can add another text module or whatever module you want. So I'm just going to keep it very simple just to show you how everything works. So I'm just going to keep a title and some text here. Now once we have added content to our slide, let's go ahead and add some styling so that once it is done, we can repeat the same slide to create our carousal. So make sure we are on our group module and let's go and add some background. So we add a background color. Now if in case you have defined global color variables, so they will be showing up here, but this is just a new setup. So I'm just going to select a temporary color from here. And after this, I'm going to go to design and let's add some border radius and maybe a border width as well. And we will pick color something like this. Once that is done, let's go to spacing and we will add some spacing as well. Something like this. Now let's come back to our heading and we go to heading text and maybe we can do the styling here as well. All right, something like this. And if we select our text, we go to design and maybe we'll bring it a little bit closer to our heading. Something like this. So now our first slide is ready. So we come back here in our main carousal group and here we can see our carousal slide. So maybe we can go ahead and rename that from here. something like this. So now it is slide one. And if we go ahead and duplicate this, it will create multiple slide for this slider. So if we now go ahead and navigate, this is how our slider will look. So this is the final look of our slider. Now if you notice, we do not have gap between our slides. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to click on slide one. And if we go to design, here in the spacing, we can add some margin here, left and right margin. So something like 25 pixel. And let me just delete all these slides. And now I can duplicate the first one again. So now we have this little bit gap between all the slides. So now once our slider is done, let's go back to our main carousal control. And here we have carousal settings. Let's click on this and we can go ahead and make it auto rotating. We can make it center mode and let's go to slide to show. So right now it is set to one, but if we set to two, this is how it's going to look. If we set it to three, 
this is how the slider will look. So it's going to navigate three slides at a time. So you can customize it as per your design. Now this is probably the easiest way to use our group carousal module. And because it got group module inside it, we can add any DB module inside it to create our slider. But how about if we make this slider as dynamic? So here we have some custom post types that we have created for our testimonials. And we are using ACF plugin to create this custom posts. And we want these to be displayed as our testimonial, which we can then use as carousal. So let's see how we can use that. So for that, we need to go ahead and click on our carousal module again and make sure we remove all these slides because we are going to dynamically link our title and text here to the content and the title of our testimonial post type. So let's see how we can do that. So once we have designed our slide one, which is a group module, we can go to this loop option here and then turn on the loop element. Now the reason we are getting these three slides like this because in the group carousal module in the settings we have set the slides to show as three. And now as we have created this slide as a loop so that's why we see three slides in one go. So this is going to create our carousal and we will be able to see three slides at once. Now let's go ahead and link the title and content to our custom post types. So once again, we are on our slide one and let's click on our title and we go to heading. This is the heading text, but we are going to link this to our dynamic content. So here it is, insert dynamic content. Let's click on this option and we choose loop post title. Now it's actually fetching our blog post. So let's fix that. So we come back here in our slide and in the loop option, we go to query type, which is post type, of course. Now below that we have post type. So instead of blog post, we will remove this and we will choose our testimonial post types. So now it's fetching the right content. Now we can again come back to heading and maybe we can reduce the font size a little bit, something like this. And now let's connect our main content. We go back to this dynamic link option. And then we will choose loop excerpt. Now it shows the content of our custom post type. And once again, we have already designed this layout. So now our slider is showing the dynamic content from our custom post types. So this is how we can use custom post types, maybe as testimonial or any other thing and show them as carousal anywhere on our website. So this is how we can use custom post types to create a dynamic testimonial carousal. So I hope this helps and if you want to learn more, then make sure you check out our blog post that we are going to link in the video description below. And if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and share it with your friends and community. And for more such tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.